or made baskets. So, um, you know, that's that's the type of basketball we like to play. I thought the second half uh, early we we got in a hurry and we tried to make things happen after one pass. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's not really who we are. Uh, so uh, that was disappointing. Uh, but you know, we were able to uh, not play anybody huge huge minutes, which was important. Uh, as we prepare for, you know, a short preparation with Indiana. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's a blessing every day uh, to be able to wake up and and be in the position that I am. I know a lot of people. Uh, would love to be here and you know I was thinking about it you know this morning before the game just walking up steps um, that's a big big deal and you know I don't take any little thing for granted now so I want to play every game like it's my last every possession like that could be the last possession I ever play so I want people to remember it as a good one. Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is the team chemistry off the floor. I think that translates onto the floor, as you guys can, can see that we really share the ball. I know Mac talked about we didn't do a great job in the second half, but, um, you know, it, it really started with that Italy trip, just, you know, being around each other and being really the only people that could speak fluent English um, really brings you together and you learn a lot about each other. So I think it all started there, and I think it's kind of carried over into our play. Um, I think our roster is really talented from top to bottom. We have, you know, 11 to 12 guys that can play on every and any given night. So our practices are really intense. We really push each other to get the best out of each other. And, you know, it's carried over to the game so far. And uh, it, it's kind of a relief to, you know, to get out there on the court and know that you've been prepared by your teammates at practice and the coach is really pushing you. And, you know, so far, so good. Um, you know, we played a lot of 20 seconds, 25 seconds of the shot clock um, for the most part. And, you know, the last five seconds, they'd find a, you know, a post entry or, you know, we, we lose our man off ball and they get a, a tricky shot to go in. And, you know, against some of the better teams, that just can't happen. But, I mean, we defended for, for most of the shot clock. We just got to finish off possessions now. Uh, kind of like what Cole said, I mean, we're doing a great job in spurts. You know, we'll have spurts where they don't score on, you know, eight or nine possessions, and then all of a sudden they'll go seven to nine. So we just need to find that consistency, and we need to know as a team that, you know, let's make it instead of 0 for, 0 for 9, let's make it 0 for 15. So now we really put them in a hole when we start to make our run. Well, you know, Max always known me. I've been a speedster um, my whole career, so that's that's no surprise to me. Um, maybe to him a little bit, but you know, I, I value the win more uh, in just the ability to be able to play. Um, I've been out for a long time, and, and this is just a joy to be back. Safe to say, three steals is a career high. Probably. <laughs> Um, well, I think Malik came in right away, and, and he was really settled. Um, you know, a lot of the times you get in, you don't play a whole lot, and you kind of want to force the issue. But Malik did a great job of controlling the tempo, pushing the ball. Um, he's able to find shooters like me and Z when we were open, and, and we got going because of him. Um, Tyler came in uh, when Malik came out, and you know he wasn't shy out there, and he really found his shot right away, and that that gave us a little boost of of energy that. He's able to come in and be extremely confident, and that got us going as well. Um, you know, big team, Indiana. Um, you know, a lot of people aren't expecting us to do much, but uh, 
I think I think we're looking forward to it. Um, being the underdog, we just got to come tomorrow prepared to practice. We're going to work on some stuff. We got to be mentally ready, and we'll see Thursday what happens. Um, this is why you play college basketball. This is why you come to Creighton and you get up for games like this. We have a big test uh, going into hostile environment and against the top 25 team. And you know, our first two games we got put behind us, and tomorrow we're going to get ready for them. We're going to watch some film, and you know, our coaches are going to prepare us, and we just got to go out and execute the game plan. It should be fun. Thanks, guys. Good job, Jeff. Good job. It was really good. I, I thought Malik's first run, I, I thought he was really tentative. Uh, you know, I think I think his two turnovers were maybe in the first four possessions he was in. Um, and w when he came out, I just said, hey, you have to be more aggressive. You know, just be on the attack, get your head up. You know, you can get into seams and you can find your teammates. And uh, to his credit, he did that. And then, you know, Tyler just – Tyler kind of brings us a calming influence. You know, I think there's a few guys, uh, you know, Maurice does that, Isaiah does that. You know, Tyler has that ability just to get guys in the right spot, make simple plays. Um, and, you know, with the lead, we just weren't going to take a chance with Maurice with two fouls uh, and, you know, combine that with the game on Thursday. So it was an opportunity to uh, maybe get him a little rest before a big game Thursday. Well, it's it's been pretty consistent, you know, through the two regular season games and the the exhibition and the scrimmage. We we've had five guys in double figures uh, each game, six tonight. Uh, so we're getting contributions from different places, and I, I think that's who we need to be. Uh, I'm not sure we've got a guy that's going to get us 20 every night, but I think we've got several guys that can get us 15 or 18 uh, on any given night, and. We just have to find out who that is on that particular night. Unfortunately, we have a point guard that understands. Somebody get, gets it going, we've we've got to find him and get him the basketball. So, uh, you know, Cole obviously got us off to a nice start the first half. Isaiah had a great stretch uh, the second half. Uh, so, you know, we have to be a team with some spurtability offensively, and we've shown that to this point. Uh, obviously, we're going to need that on Thursday. I, I thought he, I thought he just relaxed and played tonight. Uh, you know, he, he got a couple cheap calls the other night, and then there were a couple foolish ones to go with it. Uh, from a foul standpoint, I think he lost his aggression tonight. I thought he was under control, good pace, uh, stepped to the free throw line, knocked those down. You know, a couple three point plays. Uh, he tweaked his ankle again, so we'll see, uh, we'll see what uh, what they tell us tomorrow in terms of that. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's a fine line. And as I told the team in the huddle, I said, you know, there's nobody in the building that wants one of our teammates to stick up for another than me. Uh, I think those are, that's a great attribute. Uh, and especially from your point guard, you want, you want him to have your back. Uh, however, uh, with one foul, you have to understand that, that that puts you in a tough situation if you get a technical in that situation, or if they decide to toss you. Uh, uh, if something like that happens. So, you know, emotion is good, um, but let's use that emotion and channel it to get some defensive stops um, rather than to step in a, into a huddle and, and, you know, push somebody or, or show somebody up. So, um, you know, hopefully he learns a lesson from it. It's, it's good that it happened in a game like this because if it's, a, if it's a different game and he's saddled with two fouls with 15 minutes to go in the first half, uh, you know, the, the result could be much different. It could hurt us. You know, the bad is still just a lack of consistency. Um, you know, we forced some turnovers again, which was good. We turned those over into points, which was good. Um, but we just uh, – it, it felt to me like we were half a click off tonight. You know, Kyrie was just a half a step slow. And, uh, you know, he's, he's going to have games like that. He's a freshman, and we're asking him to exert a lot of energy. Um, but, uh, you know, there was a few communication mistakes we have to clean up. Uh, a few rotational mistakes we have to clean up. 
and uh, you know transition defense I feel like we're getting back but I don't know that there's a lot of urgency to get our defense set once we get back uh, and Thursday night in, in Bloomington that's that's key to the game you know they are coming at you uh, you know as, as fast as anybody in the country and you have to be back and you have to be ready or you're going to pay for it. Oh, I'm proud of him. I'm, you know, I'm really proud of him. And you know, overcoming the mental part of having the same injury twice is, is, is probably even more difficult than the physical rehabilitation that he had to go through. Uh, and that wasn't easy for him. I, th- I think he would tell you in early September, and you know, right up until the first of October when we started practice, there was still some doubts in his mind at times on, can I trust it? And we had a closed uh, uh, inner squad scrimmage. I think the week before we went to Missouri. Uh, and he got tangled up with Jeff, and the knee kind of got tweaked. And in some ways, it was a blessing that that happened because it it uh, it showed him that the knee could take a little bit of a jolt and still be fine. And uh, I don't think he's thinking about it as much uh, as he was. And you know, knock on wood, uh, you know, the the kid really deserves a, an injury-free season because uh, he's he's put a lot of work into it, and he's uh, he's been very committed with his rehabilita- rehabilitation. I have not. This will be my first trip. So, obviously, unbelievable tra- tradition. You know, I g- obviously grew up watching Coach Knight's teams, and uh, you know, the fundamental way, the way in which they played the game. Uh, not many of his teams play as fast as Coach Green's team plays. Uh, I mean, they they fly this thing up and down, and. Uh, very dangerous basketball team. And last night they were 16 of 25, I think, from the three-point line. And uh, if they shoot it like that, uh, I'm not sure the Lakers are going to go in there and win. So, you know, we've got to we've got to find a way to force them to tap the brakes a little. And uh, but we're not going to change the way we play. I think it'll be a uh, a very entertaining game because I think you'll have two teams that really want to force the tempo. Thank you.